Hi, thanks again for choosing Sibelius Tutorials. I'm Josh, and this week's tutorial will be covering how to use first and second endings inside Avid Sibelius. First and second endings can really help tighten up your score and avoid unnecessary repetitive measures. Here we have a small piano piece example where we need a first ending at bar 8 and a second ending at bar 9. Let's go ahead and press escape key three times on your keyboard to make sure that nothing is selected in Sibelius. To add a first or second ending, go to the Notations tab, and then Lines. The shortcut for Lines is the letter L on your QWERTY keyboard. In here, you can find first and second endings under the Comments section or Repeat Endings section. Go ahead and click on the first ending. Once your cursor turns blue, click on your square where you would like the first ending and in this case, that's bar 8. Please go ahead and do the same and add the second ending in your score the same way. Now, to get this to play back correctly inside Sibelius, we will need to use an end repeat, which start and end repeats were described in an earlier Sibelius tutorial. Please click on the link in the upper right corner if you are not familiar with them. Now, let's go to the Notations tab, and over to the left in the Comments section, Click on the bar line drop down and select and repeat. We want to add this after the first ending like this. So Sibelius repeats back to the beginning of the score to play back the second time to play the second ending. Thanks again for watching this video on first and second endings. Be sure to check out the other Sibelius tutorials and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'll see you guys next week.